Okay, I just finished putting together the uh, frame for the cradle for the Core Sound 15. Um, I'm in a big building, so uh, excuse the uh, echoey sound here. But um, I just finished putting it together. It's uh, just two by four, two by four construction with a plywood gusset and a little uh, uh, two by six leg, but it could have been a two by four leg. And it's about four by ten, and I actually didn't have long enough two by fours, so I had to scab on a little piece. But that's no big deal because the uh, overall dimensions are still are still right. And so here are the three frames for the cradle. You can see the middle one notches into the two by four, and the end ones actually the end ones just butt on. You just line them up with the edge and they just screw on and you just pull a center line. So, um, but before I put the cradles on, I'm going to actually use my frame as a, uh, as a workbench. I'm just going to lay some 2x4s across and I'll use that to uh, attach my stringers to the side panels as well as um, getting the bow tape done uh, in preparation for the butterfly. So um, I'll, I'll show you that in the next video. Here we have the Core Sound 15 hull panels uh, glued up. I've just attached the uh, bow seam yesterday and I just pulled the plastic off and I was going to show you a common problem is the glue squeezes out and it glues one panel to the other panel. So when I popped them apart you can see I tore out a little bit of wood. Even though I knew this was a problem and I used really wide plastic to separate the joints, it's still squeezed out. So you want to use a really big piece of plastic when you do this glue up. And to get the hull panels aligned, uh, you'll see on the plans there'll be a dimension for these back corners. And in my case, it was 78 inches from corner to corner. So you just measure from that corner to this corner and you use that dimension and that sets the angle up at the bow so you know that you get the uh, the proper alignment of the two hulls. I just got the uh, the bow tape sanded down just used some 80 grit and I went ahead and put on the uh, the safety block here I've got a block of three quarter inch plywood about oh I don't know three inches square you could also use a, a disc um, but it's on both sides and the purpose of that is for when we when we fold the boat up we don't want the um, the glass tape here to start ripping and so this block just prevents the the uh, fiberglass from starting to rip and sort of just zipper its way open so uh, that'll prevent that from happening I'm gonna go ahead and take out all my backing blocks that are holding my stringers on and see the stringer there and then we'll be ready to wire it up and fold the boat up. So it can be really difficult to maneuver these panels. Uh, they're kind of floppy and they're big. And one way you can uh, make that a bit easier is by just joining the panels together. I've got just a piece of one by two here. And so I'll show you how I can, how I can move this panel around. As long as I've got this one by two across the panels, I can manipulate the panels pretty easily. And so now I have the two insides of the panels touching each other. And so I'll get that one by two off of there, and the next step is going to be to uh, to wire the uh, the keel, and that'll be just a loose wire, not tight. So I've just finished wiring the keel line of the hull panels and I've got the center and the aft cradle installed on my um, frame. I've left the front cradle off, the bow cradle, because it kind of sticks up and is sort of in the way. 
during the folding. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to fold the boat up and I'll do that in one cut so you can see about how long it takes and uh, I haven't thought too hard about this. I'm just going to do it as I need to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm working alone so I'll be adding some supports and we'll just see how long it takes me to get it folded up.